basement of in old Chicago. Hollywood. Thousands of fans jam the streets for blocks and greet their favorite screen stars with tumultuous applause as renowned celebrities attend these brilliant occasions to pay tribute to the screen's mightiest achievements. Here is Alice Faye with Joseph M. Skink and Gregory Ratoff, Mr. and Mrs. Jean Herschel, Don Amici, Victor McLaughlin, June Lang, Mr. and Mrs. Douglas Fairbanks, the Jones family, Janet Gaynor, Henry King, Constance Bennett, Burns and Allen with Jack Haley, Andy Devine, Joan Davis, Joe Penner, Annabella, Daryl F. Zanuck, Alice Brady, Warner Baxter, Loretta Young, Tyrone Power, Alice Faye and Tony Martin. And now 20 Fox presents the superb cast and some of the highlight scenes from its supreme triumph in old Chicago. Tyrone Power is seen as Diane O'Leary, Alice Fay as Belle Fawcett, Don Amici as Jack O'Leary, Alice Brady as Molly O'Leary, Andy Devine as Pickle Bixby, Brian Donlevy as Gil Warren, Phyllis Brooks as Ann Colby, sporting cast of thousands. You see, Ma, the fellow only makes $10 a week and he's got a wife and a family. <laughs> $10 a week, that's just $10 more than you make. I couldn't take his money, could I, Ma? I give up. I've got one son that steals my laundry and spends his money heaven knows where, another a lawyer and wins cases and don't get paid for them. Oh, you're crazy, you're crazy! Maybe, but I was sane enough until tonight. Then I heard you sing, and something happened to me. Something swept over me that I'd never felt before or ever expect to feel again. What are you talking about? I'm in love with you, Belle. You know, it seems funny. You and Diane on one side, and me on the other, fighting each other. <laughs> well, when we were kids, we were always fighting. But I bet if any other Irish has tried to horn in, it was the O'Leary's against the world. Oh, you said it. I met Miss Fawcett. She's a fine woman. You ought to know her, Ma. Hmm. I will not. And her working in a saloon like any hussy. Oh, that's not fair, Ma. We're living in modern times. That's right. Things have changed since you were a girl. Don't forget, this is 1870. Well, times may have changed, but I haven't changed. And I don't want any daughter-in-law. That's the talk of the town and kicking her heels in the air for anyone to see. History lives again as one of the greatest disasters of all time becomes the screen's most memorable achievement. Here truly is mighty entertainment. 22 months in the making at a cost of over $2 million. Magnificently produced by Daryl F. Zanuck and superbly directed by Henry King, in old Chicago is destined to leave a lasting mark in the Motion Picture Hall of Fame.